A YouTuber wants to control a 12-volt motor with a microprocessor. Well, I don't happen to have his microprocessor, so I decided I'll use a 555 timer because the voltage that he says that is going to be available is somewhere around 3 volts to 5 volts. So the timer will substitute for that output. And the way this circuit works is if we have a high or a 1 or 5 volts out of the 555 timer, whatever we're controlling is off or negative logic. Now this might not be a problem, but uh, here's a video showing those results. Okay, here's the setup. I got my 555 timer over here driving this. This is the signal lead. Right now it's going through a 10k ohm resistor and I've got the meter hooked up to the output of the 555 timer. And you'll notice that when the 55 timer is about 5 volts, the light's off. And when this is off, this is on. Okay. Negative logic. Now, the 555 timer is running off the 5 volts on the trainer. This light is running off the 12 volts of this B and K power supply. The grounds are connected right here. And again, this is the signal lead. Now, the YouTuber said he needed something that would run the signal lead about three and a half volts to five volts. Well, this will definitely do it because on the other side of this 10k ohm resistor, it's driving it with a little less than one volt. And whatever you hook this up to, I don't think I would go below 1,000 ohms. So 1,000 ohms to 10,000 ohms should work. Pretty, pretty good range. Okay, this is with one NPN transistor. Now I'm going to hook up the other NPN transistor and we'll see that we have pos positive logic. If you want to, whatever it is you're controlling to be on when the 555 timer is high, well, here is one solution. There are several ways you can do it, but this one's pretty simple. They add another transistor, and when the 555 timer has a high output, whatever you're controlling will run. And here's a video showing those results. Okay. With both NPN transistors, when the 555 timer goes high, our output is high. Put that back on the 555 timer. And I tried two MOSFETs. This one is a 510 and it will handle about four uh, amps about that, maybe more. But this one, I'll, I'll talk about, uh, give you the number on the drawing. This one will handle 195 amps. It's 40 volts. This will be 100 volts here. But as you can see with two NPN transistors, we now have positive logic. When this is high, we have a high output here. Here's the number of the other MOSFET, the 3034. It'll handle 195 amps at about 40 volts. 
Now I developed the circuit using the 510, so I was curious what would happen if I just plugged this other MOSFET in, and they both worked identical. Didn't have to change anything. Thanks for watching.